Hi everybody, today what we're going to do is we're going to do a typewriter effect in Luma Fusion. Just like this. And by the end of this video you're going to be able to make this typewriter effect, save it so that if you do need to change it in the future, whether you're changing what it actually says on the typewriter effect, whether you want to change the font, change the colour from say black to white depending on the background that you've got it on you'll be able to do all that without starting from the beginning and doing it all again absolutely superb so the first thing I'm going to do is open a new project and we're going to call the new project typewriter white the reason we're calling it typewriter white is the font is going to be in white so that we can see it on a dark background we are going to be making a dark one later, so we do need to distinguish between them. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my basic text. And I'm going to make it about 10 seconds long. The reason for that is it gives us a chance for the typewriter effect to be seen. And then the text be there long enough for us to be able to read it. And all I'm putting in for the text is my name, Peter Olsop. But we will expand on that in the very near future. Once I've added the text, what I'm going to start doing is go back to the timeline and start chopping that 10 seconds up into smaller sections, usually about a quarter of a second. And I want a section for each letter and space that I've got. So we've got five letters in Peter, then a space, that makes six, and then six letters in Allsop. So I need 12 sections altogether. And I'm just going to speed this up a little bit so it's not quite so boring. So I've completed cutting up the timeline and what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the first box and then double click on my name and delete everything in that in that first section. Then I'm going to go to the second section, double click on it, double click on the on the writing on my name, delete everything except for the P. Go back to the timeline and then I'm going to double click on the third one, double click on the text, delete everything except for the P and the E. Once again I'm going to go back to the timeline and the next section, double click on my name, delete everything except for the P, E and T and so on and so on. And eventually you'll see that we start getting my first name, Peter, coming up all ready to go. So there we go. Delete everything except for Peter. And we do exactly the same for the space as well. So I'll double click on the next one and there you can see how well it works. So I'm speeding this up just to get it over and done with and it's not too boring. But all I'm doing is carrying on doing exactly the same thing for my surname and very very shortly I'll show you the completed typing effect. So I can show you how effective it is. This typewriting effect looks really really cool. Here we go, back to the start, press play, and look at that. That's dead cool, that. Now comes the important part, actually saving the project. So what we're going to do is we're going to save it as a Luma Fusion package. And I'm going to click on files because I'm going to save it to iCloud. Make sure it still says typewriter white, click on upload and I'm saving it on iCloud and then I've got a folder Luma and then in the, inside that I've got one that says intro and stuff. So now we're going to show you how to change font. So I click on files, that's going to take me back into iCloud and I'm going to click on the one we've just saved, typewriter white package and all we're going to do is you can see it there, it opens in Luma Fusion straight away Click on the second one so we've fetched the P up and all we're going to do is change the font 
there you go it's changed the font go back to the next one once again change the font and it's as simple as that it's dead easy just go through the whole thing and change your fonts as much as you like remember save it same as last time just give it a new name so now I'm happy with the finished product I'm going to save it as a movie and I'm going to save it in my photos folder I'm going to change the resolution to 4k eventually come on up 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 there you go and then I'm going to save the video quality as X oh ultra going all the way there it is it's right in the movie now and as quick as that it's done so I'm going to go to my photos folder click on it and let it play make sure everything's okay happy as Larry great stuff what we're going to do now is we're going to add some extra text because I don't just want my name on there so I'm going back to um, iCloud and the zip file is there so we're going to click on that and let's just make sure that everything's working all right so we're going to scroll up and down make sure everything's okay so what we're going to do now is add some extra text let's double click on my name so I can edit I'm going to click up in the top corner here and then I'm going to hit return because the next text I'm going to put is going to be underneath my name and I'm just going to write it in now so you can see exactly what I'm going to put underneath my name and it's a tutorial so let's crack on so we've got the T in let's go and put the next letter in and it's exactly the same as before double click on my name click in the top corner there hit return and put the T and the U in and go back to the timeline okay you might see a bit of a problem here I'm actually I've actually run out of cuts so I now need to add some more cuts so I'll crack on and do that and then I'll speed it up just a little bit so it doesn't uh, get too boring what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the rest of the text um, and once again so it doesn't get too boring I'm going to speed it up as much as I can so here we go I hope it doesn't dazzle you up with the speed and that's it complete now so let's just have a look and see what the finished item looks like shall we yeah that looks pretty good I'm more than pleased with that yep Bob's your mother's brother finished right so now we've completed all the hard work let's have a look what we can do now we've finished it because it's no use doing all this hard work if we're going to do nothing with it so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a photo I could put a video in if I wanted but photo will do and I'm going to make it so it's 50, just over 15 seconds long so now if I want I can add the text either in front of it so it's like an introduction so I would do this kind of thing so that's the that's the photo I've got in so I can put it in front of the photo so it goes like that so it's like an introduction but what I may want to do is put the text over the top of the photo but the problem here is I can't see the photo underneath because the background's not transparent but we can change that and this is how we do it so just make it a little bit bigger I'm going to double tap on it and I'm going to click on this little bit down here 
So I'm going to click on frame and fit and then click on blending. And I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to screen. And there you go. So let's go back now and let's play it again. And there you can see the text is coming out over the top. That's great. But I might not want it smack bang in the middle of the screen. So what am I going to do? Once again, double click. And I've got size and position. So I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to move it. I'm going to place it there. All right. So let's try it again. And that's a little bit more discreet, but the message is getting out there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Please subscribe. I'd love that. And ring that little notification bell. If there's any videos that you'd like me to make in the future, please leave a comment in the section below and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Anyway, I hope to see you all soon in the next video. See you later.